Good afternoon from the Universal Orlando parking garage. We are headed in today because I haven't been to Islands of Adventure in a while and there's some like construction, some remodeling or refurbishment that's happening on uh, Carousel. So a few things have been refurbished and opened like take for instance Poseidon's Fury is back open again and they have released some Halloween Horror Nights merchandise. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Tim, it's April. Halloween Horror Nights is so far away. Is it though? Hmm? Might be coming soon. I mean, they did release the dates for it. And those dates are select nights from September 2nd through October 31st. And when they say select nights, usually it's the weekend, usually like Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday type thing. Occasionally towards the end of the run, they might do a Monday, they might do a Wednesday. We'll put a link in the description down below to Universal Orlando's website or Halloween Horror Nights website so you can see the exact dates that the event is running because it varies from week to week, month to month. So I know that I said good afternoon, even though it is morning right now. It's about 11, 10 right now in the morning. And the crowd coming in feels kind of nice. There was kind of a lot of people at the parking, like the, the toll booths that you have to go through to pay for parking. But walking in, not a lot of people walking through parking garage. That's exciting. They might be parking people in the other parking garage. So I parked in Prime because that's included with my annual pass. So there might be a lot of people over in the other parking garage and not a lot of people at parking in Prime. On my way in, it is still Mardi Gras right now, so there is still a parade happening. And the bead tree, oh, bead trees, plural, are very full with beads because people like to throw beads into them on their way out of City Walk on the way back to their car. And you can see on the ground, not everybody has such good aim or good luck getting it to stick on a branch. A lot of beads down there. All right, as we head into City Walk, we can see that the Welcome to Universal Orlando sign is still down. I think they are refurbishing it. All right, so we've made it up to the Coca-Cola sign, and you can see in little letters underneath it says Islands of Adventure to the left, Universal Studios to the right. So we're headed to Islands of Adventure. As we were walking through City Walk, I did want to point out that if you get the chance to eat at Vivo, it is very delicious. We haven't had a bad meal there yet, but we've only eaten there like maybe two or three times, so. We definitely need to try it out more. I did want to point out that as soon as you get to the turnstiles, look for a sign that tells you attractions that are not operating right now. The following adventures are not available. Carousel is the only thing that's not available right now. Ooh, on the way in, we've got some characters out front. Now go for the other ones first. I know what you're up to. Good job, you. Selling rare and exotic plants. So Islands of Adventure is composed of a gigantic circle and we've made it to the start of that circle. So we just came in, the turnstiles to come in are back there. So we've made it to where we have to turn either right or left. There is a display here that says Co-Creations Starlight. I believe it's a DJ booth. I think that this is for Grab Bash or Grad Night, possibly, but Co-Creation Starlight I'd like to try that. It sounded interesting. I think it's like a, almost like a minty, but it doesn't have a mint flavor. What happens is you drink some of it and then your mouth feels uh, cooler. It sounds really interesting to me. We'll see if we can, if they have it here. I don't know if they have it at Universal. We'll see if we can find it. So we are headed off to the right to head over to see what kind of work they're doing on Carousel. Oh yeah, all of Carousel is behind scrim and walls, but I never really noticed that Horton was on the top of it. Back here by one fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. Uh, I just wanted to give a warning if you guys want to ride this, be prepared to get wet. This ride is now beginning. Please remain seated and enjoy your swimming. Because there is a code where if you follow what they say, you might not get wet, but it's very hard to do. So get ready to be wet. So we can hear them doing some angle grinding on Carousel, but I think from aerial images that we've seen, they're just replacing the roof, redoing it making sure there's no leaks, fixing the paint, and also fixing the actual theming of the roof. Like redoing the concrete, this pink part up here where Horton is, they're redoing that. But down lower behind the scrim. Got some characters out here. We got the Grinch, we got Sam I Am, and we've got old, what's his name? The Lorax. So interesting that Hong Kongers was such a big deal when it first opened because they had that ridiculous cotton candy, and then it just closed and it hasn't been open since. I wonder if it'll open back up. They like redid everything, the sign, the inside, the paint on the outside. Now we are making our way into the Lost Continent, which is a land just before Hogsmeade in the circle. And we're going to see Poseidon's Fury, which is a, an attraction. I wouldn't call it a ride. It's a walkthrough attraction show that has been closed for a while for refurbishment, but is now back open. So for a while, 
there were some rumors circulating around that this was going to be Legend of Zelda when they shut it down, but turns out they were just refurbishing it and it is back open. The other thing about this is it is a walkthrough attraction slash show. So I don't know that I would wait 45 minutes. I would wait until the tour gets closer, maybe like 20 minutes, then I would get in line. But take that with a grain of salt because if you get in line 20 minutes before the next tour, you might miss that tour. There might be enough people in line ahead of you to make it into the tour that is running and you might be stuck in line waiting for the next one. It looks really good. Like the paint that they did is really nice. I like the little detail too. So like there's these giant feet as if there was a huge statue here before. And then if you look around, there are pieces of that statue strewn about like this gigantic hand here was part of the statue. This seems like it might have been part of the face of the statue, maybe the nose. Or that could have been the top part of that octopus up there too. But it looks kind of similar to that octopus. As we get closer and closer, further and further into Lost Continent, we can see King Julian out here busting a move. Oh, he's shaking his little booty. Right across from where King Julian was dancing, there is a bypass that is open. This bypass is usually only open on busy days and it'll take you directly to Velocicoaster. Looking at some of the wait times here, Hagrid's is 160 minutes. Yeah, everything except for Forbidden Journey and Doctor Doom's Fearfall, pretty high waits. So we are headed towards the All Hallows Voodoo Boutique, which is a special boutique for Mardi Gras. And also they've got some Halloween Horror Nights stuff in there. And we can see, there it is, Halloween Horror Nights 2022 merchandise reveal. Never go alone. So there's not a lot for Halloween Horror Nights 2022. I think it's just this shirt and maybe an ornament. A ringer shirt that says never go alone on the back, $35. So you could stock up and get ready for Halloween Horror Nights in April. And they have for $20, Halloween Horror Nights 2022 Christmas ornament. So you can be ready for Christmas 2022. I don't know if I've been in here since it opened for the Mardi Gras season. You can see it's themed to voodoo. Ooh, like this alligator head. Mostly the same merchandise that we've seen elsewhere in the park. With a few exceptions, we've got some themed hot sauce and some themed coffee. Already selling pumpkin spice. And of course, Mardi Gras themed candles. Got hurricane cocktail. King cake. What else? Just king cake or king gator. Ooh. Voodoo scented candle over here. Fleur de lis. Couple of different options here. Oh. Potion Pretorius and Full Moon Caravan. I think these are left over from Halloween. I haven't seen this before. These are rum cordials themed to Mardi Gras. This little acrylic box is something that theme parks have had since I was a kid. And it's wild to me that they're still marketing this type of thing. Disney just brought it back. What is this? Toffees? Truffles and English toffee assortment? And then candy bars. Milk chocolate bar with caramel, milk chocolate bar, and can't really read what the last one is. Oh and a gummy alligator. So because our next stop is actually over at Velocicoaster, I'm gonna bypass Hogsmeade altogether and use that little bridge that I was telling you about that leads you straight to Velocicoaster. Let's see if it's coming. Oh, there it is. Going over top of the top hat. Oh man, I love this roller coaster. I was gonna wait right here and catch the coaster going over the top of this roll. They call this the Mosasaur roll. So around the park, there are a few different rides that have tours that you can do on them. We've done one at Men in Black, we've done one at Jimmy Fallon, and I heard that Velocicoaster has a tour, and it might be too busy today to actually do the tour, but I'm gonna ask them and see if they actually have one. And then if it's too busy today, we'll see if we can come back another day. So it is, it is a 55 minute wait right now, and Single Rider is open. Single Rider moves pretty quick on this ride, but still, don't expect to get in there way faster than the regular line. Maybe like within, 30 to 40 minutes. So, so, so they do offer a tour. Unfortunately, right now they don't have the staff to do the tour. They said for me to check back around three, which is in about three hours. We'll see if we're still here then. If not, we'll come back a different day and do it. It, it just come around and ask at the different attractions if you want to do a tour or not, because it all depends on a number of factors, whether or not they have the capacity to do it as far as if the line's too long or if they have the staffing to do it, if there's not enough people here, if there's not somebody that knows how to do the tour. So. A lot of different factors. Always check 
and see if they have the availability to do it for you. So the idea was to stay in Islands of Adventure because I thought that I could do the Velocicoaster tour, but if we have to wait until three, we might try to go over to Universal and get something to eat at the Mardi Gras tents. Over here at the Dino Store, I just noticed that there is a bunch of hats outside and Jen is recently a hat convert, so I just kind of wanted to get this for her, show her what the hat options are here at Islands of Adventure. Maybe she wants one, you never know. Like this nice pink one. This one's not bad though. I feel like you could look like a, like a Jimmy Buffett. Actually, I feel like I've explored the majority of the food booths for Mardi Gras. So we might head out in a city walk. So I have this, this gift card from Mardi Gras right here that is supposed to work everywhere in city walk. So we're gonna go out there and test it out. I feel like this T-Rex is closer to this Explorer than it has been in the past. Has it leaned a little bit or did they, is this how it's always been? See, like if you look up at the, the top above him, there's kind of like a little bit of space or above her, a little bit of space up there. Maybe not. I mean, I'm, maybe I'm just imagining things. Probably just imagining things. This is probably how it's always been. So earlier I mentioned that you will most likely get wet on one fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. This is one that you will 100% get wet on. And that is Dudley Do-Right's Ripsaw Falls. Another one would be Papa and Bluto's Bill Drab Barges. Oh, here comes some people. And this is the thing. All right, so here's the big question. Over here by Popeye and Bluto's Build Rat Barges. Is Wimpy's open? And it looks like it is. Let's have a look at the menu. It's been, it's, it's rarely open, only open on busy occasions like this. So let's see what they have. Okay, the Wellington cheeseburger sounds interesting. Cheddar cheese, tomato, lettuce, pickle, onions, mayo, ketchup. That's, that's one singular thing, mayo ketchup together. The vegan supreme cheeseburger and chicken fingers. Is that it? That's the whole menu? Everything is served with curly fries. And you can also get a Dole Whip here. I guess my biggest question is why is it called the Wellington Burger? Is his name Wimpy Wellington maybe? I have been looking at all of the different menus for all the little places that are around Islands of Adventure as I walk out the city walk because a lot of these places I haven't eaten at before but most of them seem like they're like chicken sandwich, chicken fingers, burgers, stuff like that. Storm and Rogue are waiting outside here and Cyclops is over there meeting kids. Hulk must have just gone down because they're running a, an empty train right now. So it seems like they're trying to get it back up and running. Let's see if there's people on it. There are people on it now, so it is back up and running. All right, last stop before making our way out into City Walk. Universal Trading Company, or is it called Islands Trading Company? Islands of Adventure Trading Company. I'm gonna head inside and see if I can find that Coke Starlight. I don't think I'll be able to, but it would be fun if we could. Side note, if you're a uh, big fan of Harry Potter and you're looking for like a homecoming dress or a prom dress, here you go, $375 for Hermione's Yule Ball gown. I got kind of excited for a second because this Cherry Coke looks awfully similar to the label for the Coke Starlight, but no, it's just Cherry Coke. Dang, well, we'll keep looking. All right, out into City Walk. You know what I might try to go do? I might try to eat at Hot Dog Hall of Fame. It's been a minute since I've had a delicious, delicious hot dog. So we might go check and see if that's open. Why not? It's either that or bread box. Those would be my two go-tos. We might stop by Voodoo Donuts and see if they've got something too. Good news, it looks like Hot Dog Hall of Fame is open. I did also want to point out that right next to Hot Dog Hall of Fame and Antihitos used to be a place called The Groove, now closed and the sign has been taken down. Oh, as I'm looking at the menu, I did also want to point out that there is a vegan dog. I don't even know if you guys can see this menu, but I'm gonna go with the Milwaukee dog. It's basically a bratwurst. Here we go, here's the non-digital signage. I might get the Milwaukee dog or the Washington dog sounds really interesting too. Hmm. I don't know. You can get a side of fries too. Oh, you can get peanuts or Cracker Jacks. So I was able to use my Mardi Gras gift card here and here's what everything cost. Totaled $13.75 and the bottled water was $5. My goodness. They didn't have any french fries, so I got some chips. Here's my bratwurst covered in onions. I'll have to take a bite of it so you guys can see what the inside of it looks like. I like this bun though, this bun's nice. I gotta get some napkins. As I was getting my napkins, I noticed that they have a, like a mustard bar. You can try all kinds of different mustards and then some ketchup in there too. And then of course they have normal mustard and relish and ketchup. One of these days, the crowds will be low enough that we'll be able to get in and just like ride rides and ride rides and ride rides every time that we come to the park. But I'm excited to try this bratwurst. One thing that I like about the parks is like, no matter what, there's always something to do, whether it's riding rides or trying food that you haven't tried before, there's so many options. And today we're trying a bratwurst. Let me ask you something. Do you guys just eat your bratwurst or your hot dog like this? 
or do you like try to flip it over so that some of the toppings are underneath? I like to try to flip it over so that some of the mustard and the and the onions and stuff go underneath or like next to it. So like this, right? That's a better, more compact hot dog to me. And then I like to wrap the bun around it. Oh, oh, okay. There goes my, my tray, it started to try to blow away. Okay, here, let's give it a try. That's a solid bratwurst. Yeah, that's really good. Cooked perfectly. I feel like the onions could have been grilled a little bit longer, but it's not, they're not terrible. Like they're not raw for sure. And the mustard complements everything perfectly. This is nice. I do recommend you come out and check out Hot Dog Hall of Fame. If you're a fan of hot dogs like I am, even if you're a fan of bratwurst, come out here and give it a try. You can get a two foot long hot dog. One time I attempted to eat, it was on National Hot Dog Day. They had the two foot hot dog over at Casey's and then they always have the two foot hot dog here at Hot Dog Hall of Fame. So I attempted, attempted to eat both in one day. Attempted is the key word there. I was not successful. Spoiler alert. But I did finish the one here. It was the one over at Casey's that it had, it was, it was like a giant bun at Casey's. I wish they would do it again because I would like to attempt it again. I think I could do it. If I had enough time, like if I came over here and ate the one in the morning and then went over to Magic Kingdom or maybe if I went to Magic Kingdom first, hmm, I don't know. I'd like to try it again if they offer it again. One day, one day it'll happen. So we're gonna go over to Voodoo Donuts next, see what they've got over there. I'm actually gonna mobile order it. But here at the Universal Legacy store, I wanted to go inside because I thought I heard that they had a couple new props in here. Oh yeah, they have some models of what it looked like inside of Confrontation. So if you rode Confrontation, this might look familiar to you. Here's a look at the other model that's around. There's like a bed in the middle of the road here. And then of course, this is a model of the ride vehicle. So this is what you used to ride in. Confrontation ride vehicle. It was suspended from the ceiling. Confrontation was where mummy is now. So currently at Voodoo Donuts, the specialty is the banana cream pie, a yeast shell filled with banana custard dipped in vanilla icing, sprinkled with cinnamon and a touch of vanilla wafer on top. And I believe that that's the specialty for Mardi Gras, but I think I wanna try something else. I might try something I've never tried before. I don't know. Let's find something. So the donuts at Voodoo Donut are not very expensive, but I just noticed that the glazed regular donut is only a dollar fifty. It's not bad at all. And I'm looking through the looking through everything, and like, I know I said I wanted to get something that I've never had before, but man, this ODB is just calling my name right now. So I think we're gonna get that. So I put in my mobile order for Voodoo Donut, but as I was waiting for it to be ready, I came over to this kiosk, and I noticed that they have all kinds of the office stuff. Wow, that's fun. You can get an office puzzle here. All right, so this is gonna be a mess. But this is the ODB. This is a raised yeast donut with chocolate frosting, Oreo cookies, and peanut butter. It's delicious. It cost me $3, but I got my annual pass holder discount on it, so it wasn't quite as bad. It wasn't quite $3. Ooh. All right, I'm gonna try to keep the bag underneath me so I don't make too much of a mess. Let's give it a try. That's really good. Oh man, that hits the spot. I do wish there was more peanut butter on it, but man, I, I totally forgot how good peanut butter and Oreo is together and chocolate. Like peanut butter, chocolate, and Oreo, put that in any dessert, make that into an ice cream and I'll eat that, it'll be delicious. Hmm. I just see a sign for Grad Bash. That's what that Coke Starlight sign was for, was for Grad Bash. Man, this is really good. I love it. So, once again, I will suggest, if you have a sweet tooth and you're looking for something at Voodoo Donuts, ODB, in my opinion, is a sure bet. I do have to mention that I just had that Voodoo Donut, it was delicious, but I mobile ordered it and I couldn't use my gift card mobile ordering. I was able to get my annual pass holder discount, but I couldn't use my gift card. So. Not, not a big deal, but I was just letting you guys know if you were trying to use that gift card for Mardi Gras around, can't use it for mobile ordering. Let's make a quick stop inside the Universal Studios store. See if there's anything that we haven't seen before. There's always something new going on. This is kind of neat. They have these signed framed photos with a wand. Helen Bottom Carter, Matthew Lewis with his wand. Who else? Warwick Davis up here with his wand too. 
thousand dollars. I feel bad for Matthew Lewis. Why is his so much cheaper? There is a display for Secrets of Dumbledore, but it seems to be all Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them merch. This one's kind of neat though. $34 for this shirt. There is a dark sleeveless version of it as well. It's very sheer too, like a very thin fabric. And then there is a fantastic piece in where to find them, an uh, insulated water bottle. That is $27. I think that's it. The rest of the stuff is Hogshead, which is kind of neat because the Hogshead is the pub in Hogsmeade. Oh, I guess maybe it has something to do with Fantastic Beasts as well. Hmm. Yeah, the Hogshead at Hogsmeade. I'm assuming this one's also $34, $30, a little bit cheaper. So everybody knows of the chocolate frog, but if you haven't had the peppermint toads, they are really good. Peppermint toads made with dark chocolate for $10. Felix Felici's liquid sweets. It's got like a little bit of a sparkle in there too. Interesting. $11. It's just like, oh, it's thick. Oh my goodness. Like honey or something like that. Syrup. I'm gonna look around and see what they have for their shirts. They've just recently started getting into the t-shirt game. I don't know. Did they get rid of my favorite shirt? It was like a, a minion shirt where the minions had little mustaches and they were going on vacation to Florida. I do kind of like this Jurassic World shirt, the Raptors on Tour 2015. Is that when Jurassic World came out? It's been that long. Here's something that I haven't seen before. Mardi Gras appetizer tray for $5. A little plastic tray and it's got a spot for you to put like your wine in there. And that way you can hold your, your wine glass and walk around with some food. That seems like a nice idea. All right, so even though we didn't get to do the VelociCoaster tour, we did learn that they have a tour and we'll just have to come back another day to do it. I'm very excited to see what all is involved with it and like where on the ride we would tour. It sounds pretty cool. So I know from doing other tours around the resort that it should be fun and interesting. And we'll put a few links in the description down below too. I like the Jimmy Fallon tour. That one was really neat. But today was a fantastic day. I had a really good time. Had a good bratwurst, a good donut. It was great. I do, I am excited to get back out here and get on some rides when the crowds start to die down a little bit. So all in all, a fantastic day. And with that being said, we are off. We'll see you all tomorrow. And now it's time to pay the price. <laughs>